Hello guys and welcome back to the Carl's Masters Vlogs. This is Christine and today we're tackling the topic, how much does it cost to study? Before coming to Carl's, it's a question that I struggled with and really researched a lot. I suppose some of you might have the same questions. Today I have a special guest to help you out. David Sixth from Student Services, a Carl Sucrula alumni and associate head of the master's program, will be joining us for an interview to answer your most frequently asked questions. Let's get to it! My name is David, I'm from Germany. I'm British at heart, but my nationality is German. <laughs> I'm responsible for the student service, so I take care of the students that are already here on site. Um, whatever wishes, problems, issues, challenges they may might face, they can always come to me. I always have an open ear and try to facilitate things for them, basically. Basically, if we ever have a problem, we go to David and he <laughs> sorts everything out for us. <laughs> Magic is my one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the tuition fees in both programs are, or like both spheres, are the same as 690 euros a month um, for the duration of your studies. Uh, obviously, the bachelor's program is three years long, the master's two years long, the monthly fee is always the same, 690. <laughs> I mean, on top of, of tuition fees, yeah. you would want to live somewhere. Flats and, and cars, for most of our students, share their flats with others. Um, and you would estimate something between 250 and 350 euros for a room. And then on top of that, it really depends on, on, on your lifestyle. I mean, having another 200, 250 euros for everything, for public transport, for going out, for food shopping, for anything, um, I think is quite a good estimate. It really depends on, on you. But let's say somewhere between, I mean, rent, living expenses and so on and so forth. If you, if you estimate between five and 600 euros a month, I think you're really well off. I mean, basically, one scholarship that we offer ourselves is the Germany scholarship, the Deutschland Stipendium, um, which we advertise usually in the summer term sometime, then you can apply for it. Every student of our university who's already enrolled at the university can apply for that. Um, and especially for international students, um, I can definitely recommend looking at the website of the DAAD. They offer quite a lot of scholarships for international students. The link is on our website. <laughs> Well, the professor's answer would be, it depends. My personal answer would be, yes. <laughs> um, I did work during my bachelor's. During the bachelor's, I only worked in the uh, lecture-free period. So if you want to work outside class, you can do it, and we see that the majority of our students do it. Um, I mean, it's kind of stereotype of, at the private university, only the rich kids go to study. It's just not true. Um, hardly any of our, of our students just pay the tuition fees from the money they have or that their parents have their own work. You just have to make a conscious decision for that because it means that you... I mean, it's basically double, st double stress. It's more effort to work and study at the same time, but you can definitely make it work. My advice is prepare yourself. Um, from experience, looking at, at our students and what they do, you can find a job even and especially as an international. Coming in to Germany with your cultural background, with your different ideas, um, you would be quite popular on the job market if, and that's the most important thing, if you speak the language. Which doesn't mean you have to be perfect at German. You don't, okay? You don't have to be perfect at German. But you need to be able at least to speak German on a good general conversational level to be able to find a job. I mean also what we see quite often is our international students would come in with maybe a bit of German, continue learning German here down in the university, we offer that service to you and then after a year when the German is better we then go and apply for proper jobs <laughs> uh, so to speak and, um, and then continue their career from there. Um, and the earlier you, you start, the bigger your chances are later on. So, long story short, prepare yourself. <laughs> cool, thank you so much, David, for taking your time. It's, it's a actually... pleasure. It's a pleasure. I hope it helped. That's all the questions I have. High five! High five! Thank Woo! you so much! Yes.